the entire reunion territory of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh were, are and will always be an integral and inalienable part of India. We expect nothing new from this delegation that harbors a deep sense of insecurity and orchestrated hatred for India and our secular, secular credentials and values that my country stands for. I am constrained to take floor to respond to the frivolous remarks made by representative of Pakistan against my country. While such a statement deserve our sympathy for a mindset which repeatedly utters falsehood, it is important for me to set the record straight. Irrespective of what the representative of Pakistan believes or covets, the entire union territory of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh were, are and will always be an integral and inalienable part of India. We expect nothing new from this delegation that harbors a deep sense of insecurity and orchestrated hatred for India and our secular, secular credentials and values that my country stands for. I would also like to join the fellow delegations in conveying our condolences to the bereaved families in Syria and Turkey who had suffered loss of lives and destructions due to the earthquakes this morning. India stands in solidarity with the people of Syria and Turkey and ready to offer all possible assistance to cope with this tragedy. I am constrained to take floor to respond to the frivolous remarks made by representative of Pakistan against my country. While such a statement deserve our sympathy for a mindset which repeatedly utters falsehood, it is important for me to set the record straight. Irrespective of what the representative of Pakistan believes or covets, the entire union territory of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh were, are and will always be an integral and inalienable part of India. We expect nothing new from this delegation that harbors a deep sense of insecurity and orchestrated hatred for India and our secular, secular credentials and values that my country stands for. I would also like to join the fellow delegations in conveying our condolences to the bereaved families in Syria and Turkey who had suffered loss of lives and destructions due to the earthquakes this morning. India stands in solidarity with the people of Syria and Turkey and ready to offer all possible assistance to cope with